I'm Professor Kesho Walase from Walton Institute of Technology, Solapur. In today's session, we will discuss about 2D homogeneous coordinate transformations, particularly some examples we will try to solve. Coming to the learning outcomes, at the end of this session, viewers are expected to solve the problems on geometric transformations, particularly using the concept of 2D homogeneous coordinate transformations and again in that regarding commonly used transformations of translation, scaling and rotation. Let us revise few basics from earlier video regarding 2D homogeneous coordinate transformations. In translation, as you all know, we represent the mathematical relationship as p dash is equal to p into t for point to be transformed, wherein p dash happens to be new translated point, p is original point and t is the translation matrix. This is the relationship for a point wherein x dash y dash indicates coordinates of new transformed coordinate wherein this one is the augmented part of the algorithm for homogeneous coordinate transformations. So this is p dash is equal to this is p into this 3 by 3 matrix represents translation matrix in homogeneous coordinate transformations wherein 3 by 3 matrix is required for actually 2D working wherein this third row and third column they indicate the augmented part for the requirement towards algorithm of representation in homogeneous coordinate system. Coming to scaling, we know the relation p dash and new point is equal to p original point into s, s will be the scaling matrix. So, scaling matrix in this case happens to be diagonally s x and s y, wherein s x and s y are scaling factors along s and y and this third row and third column is the augmented part, wherein this is p dash this is p. In a rotation, p dash is equal to p into r, wherein again r, the rotation matrix is given in 3 by 3 for 2D transformations in this particular form, wherein there is a normal 2 by 2 part required in rotation, whereas this third row and third column are the augmented part towards homogeneous coordinate system. At this point, I expect the viewers to imagine some objects and try to apply these concepts of 2D homogeneous coordinate transformations. Let us now solve some simple problem. The text of the problem reads, wherein we are given two points passing through coordinates 1, 1 and 2, 4 and we are required to translate a line passing through these two points. We are required to translate through two units along x direction and three units along y direction and this is using homogeneous coordinate transformation. This is a given problem and we will see how we can go about this in homogeneous coordinate transformation system. We know earlier we have discussed for the point, now let us talk about the line. We are given a line here. So, line is a 2 by 2 matrix as you all know normally we represent. So, L dash will be the translated new line, L is the original line and T is the translation matrix. So, with this relationship, this could be the way otherwise we could have normally represented the matrices for a given line 2 by 2 
passing through these two points whereas this is the translation matrix with the 2 and the 3 as the translational distances along x and y as given and we have to find out l dash new line. We will see here how we can do it with homogeneous coordinate system. L dash is equal to L into T we know and uh, in homogeneous coordinate system we can represent the same equation in this style wherein L dash will be replaced here with x 1 y 1 and 1 as well as x 2 y 2 and 1. So, these x 1 y 1 and x 2 y 2 are actually the 2 by 2 part of 2 points through which the line is passing and this 1 the third column 1 1 these 2 elements are the part of augmentation required towards homogeneous coordinate system representation for a line. So, this is for the new coordinates is equal to L dash this is L dash is equal to L L will be represented in this particular form wherein 1 1 2 4 these are the coordinates of original point this is 1 1 this is 2 4 this is the original line. So, this original line here is represented as 1 1 2 4 and third column is the augmented part taking values of 1 and 1 in third column. So, this is L into T the translation matrix here will be diagonal elements 1 1 1 and here we will have T x is equal to 2 T y is equal to 3. So, this T x is equal to 2 is a translation distance along x axis whereas, T y is equal to 3 is translation distance along y direction. So, this is the actual representation in homogeneous coordinate transformation system in that pattern with new algorithm and the result of this is put up here 3 4 1 4 7 1 wherein dropping this augmented part third column we get 3 4 and 4 7 as the x 1 y 1 is 3 4 x 2 y 2 is 4 7. So, it is indicated here new positions of these two points are given here 3 4 and 4 7. So, this is the translated line with homogeneous coordinate transformation. Coming to scaling here again we have the same problem a line is given which passes through two points 1 1 2 4 and the scaling factors given here are 2 along x as well as along y and we have to do it with uh, this using homogeneous coordinate transformations. Point to mention here is this scaling factor may be different, but here what we are given is it is the same along both the axes that is 2. So, the relation we have is L dash the new scaled line is equal to L into S as usual L dash is the line after scaling L is the original line and S is the scaling matrix. Normally, otherwise we would have indicated L the line in 2 by 2 style as this 1 1 2 4 2 by 2 matrix and the scaling matrix could have been uh, like this style 2 0 0 2 S x and S y is equal to 2 scaling factors, but here we have to do it with homogeneous coordinate system. So, L dash new line is equal to L into S if we put up in homogeneous coordinate form we get this as we have discussed earlier this is your L dash this part is L indicating 1 1 and 2 4 as 2 given points through which the line is passing and this is the augmented part as usual and this is 3 by 3 our scaling matrix wherein diagonally this 2 is S x representing scaling factor along x axis this is T y or S y here scaling factor along y axis and this is augmented part representing 0 0 and 1 values in third and uh, third column and third rows. The resultant of this comes out to be 
टू टू वन एंड फोर एट वन वेर इन टू टू फोर एट दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ टू कोऑर्डिनेट्स दैट इज टू टू हियर एंड फोर एट हियर सो दिस इज द स्केल्ड लाइन विथ दिस इज द ऑगमेंटेशन कमिंग टू रोटेशन अगेन we have the same example line passing through two points 1 1 and 2 4 and angle given is theta is equal to plus 30 we have l dash is equal to l into r the normal notation form we indicate as usual here and this r is equal to cos theta and this value this particular matrix is rotation matrix in case of 2d transformation otherwise without homogeneous coordinate transformation but here we are using homogeneous coordinate transformation system with that l dash comes out in this form as usual l again as usual we have put up as in earlier cases and newly the r rotation matrix in augmented style for homogeneous coordinate transformation comes out with this basic 2 by 2 transformation matrix and augmented with this third one third column and the result of this for theta is equal to 30 if we put and solve we get x1 y1 and x2 y2 as these values with this as the augmented part so these two points are indicated here so this is first point x1 y1 and this one is x2 y2 thus we get the rotated line here so these are the transformations using 2d homogeneous coordinate systems these are the two books as usual we have written uh, rather we have referred uh, grover and uh, ibrahim zaid we have taken all these things from these two books thank you